Father, I just had a spiritual analogy. I'm sitting here with my devotional, my beautiful Bible that I'm going to read next. Oh, God, I love this word. Love, love, love this word. And I love this, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is such a yummy treasure. So I got my God tools right here. Yep. Thank you, Father. I got my God tools right there. And I'm sitting here with Dr. Stanley. Oh, my goodness. And I just looked up and saw the progress. The window panes are gone in the front. And they're still taking the windows out of this house because they're going to tear it down. And it's just an analogy, God, of what's to come. Things that are standing will no longer be left standing. People, places, and things will disappear. But what will be the outcome of the believers? They will be in heaven, a new heaven and a new earth with the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And what will be the outcome of those who rejected your son? Father, today I pray in Jesus' name. As quickly as this structure will come down, that you would pierce the hearts of those who have not decided to follow Jesus, to put their faith in your son, and to join us who believe in eternity when this life perishes. This house that's now standing, a minute fraction is not even a good description of what will happen to the remaining of the earth on the day of judgment, in the great tribulation and the horrific unspeakable things to come and I say unspeakable God but you speak of it in revelation so my prayer father in this beautiful beautiful sunny day is that many many will choose whom they will serve just like Joshua said on this day choose whom you will serve God you are merciful and you are offering salvation all day, all night, every day. And in the end, there will be no excuse. Just judgment. Just judgment. In Jesus' name, I pray for every unsaved soul, God. And I thank you for your grace and your faithfulness and your mercy and your love and your patience and your forgiveness. The blood of your son, the sacrifice, the redemption, the reconciliation, the restoration, the newness and the promises. We exalt you in Jesus' name. Amen.